Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art channel. I'm doing something really fun tonight. I'm going to be pouring on this glass vase um, and I'm doing something a little bit different with it. Um, I have a Patreon group called Nate's Art Lab and it's an amazing group of people and we you know, share ideas and all this kind of stuff and I am always inspired by the things that people share. And recently, Heather Aldo posted something in the group. She posted a, um, a glass bottle um, I'll throw up the picture here if I can, if I remember. Um, and um, uh, all she used on the, the glass bottle was this little piggy pigments, which are transparent. So it gave this really beautiful, um, like smoked glass look, but in uh, different colors. Really beautiful. And I can't wait to try this on something larger. Um, so I've got this, um, this glass vase here. I measured it earlier. I'm going to forget how pretty it is. It's about 16 inches tall and four inches in diameter. So this is a fairly uh, good size vase. And I've mixed up three of this little piggy pigment. So I've got this little piggy uh, ore and mermaid and sapphire. So my plan here is to layer up a cup of just the two blues and pour it over and see how far that travels down. And then I'll probably do another cup um, adding in some of the gold because I want the gold to be kind of closer to the bottom and it'll stretch down. So I don't need to use a lot of it. So um, if, this, if this first cup covers the whole vase, then I'll just drizzle some of this on so it kind of goes down. And I'm using three colors because I'm, um, these are all transparent, they might end up blending quite a bit um, as they travel down the glass. So if I end up with just one solid color, I think these colors will make a really beautiful, maybe teal color or some kind of a blue green. Let's, we'll see how it goes. But I'm excited to play with this and maybe learn something along the way. Um, so uh, just to give you uh, a couple of details here, this glass vase, um, I got at the dollar store. I think it was $2 or something like that. Um, I've taken off the sticker off of the bottom and then I've used some isopropyl alcohol to remove the sticker and the gum on, the, on it, as well as all, all, all the way around on the sides. I'm not touching it because I don't want to add any oils from my fingers. That's what the alcohol does, uh, is it removes the, the oils from your fingers. So it should be a really smooth, clean palette to, to play on. And then I've uh, put it on a large uh, storage cup that I use for my um, um, table scrapings and that kind of stuff. Um, and so, because it gives me something I can grip onto and, and move it away from uh, and into my drying room. And because I want a stable surface, but I wanted you to be able to see what I was doing and not just on my, uh, my black um, surface here, I put down a, um, a, a wood panel uh, to give myself a stable surface also. And I've leveled this uh, so that um, it's not tilting any um, direction. So it'll, won't, it should flow evenly on all sides. That's the hope anyway. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and layer up my cups. Oh, I should um, show you the consistency. So I've dispersed my pigments in some uh, GAC 800. And then I use my regular pouring medium, which is two parts flow trawl, one part PVA glue, and one part gloss varnish. I just mixed these up, so there's quite a bit, quite a few bubbles, but I don't think that's going to matter so much. Um, it might provide some uh, you know, as they pop, it might provide some interesting little texture to it. Um, and I've made sure that I've kept this to a, a nice thick consistency, but um, still fluid enough that it should flow. And um, I've got eight ounces of each of these and two ounces of this. So that's 20 ounces of paint, which should be plenty to cover this surface. Hopefully, let's keep our fingers crossed. So I'm going to go ahead and layer my cup. I want to end with the sapphire, so I'm going to start with some of the mermaid, and then I'm just going to put equal amounts of this as I go and fill up this cup. And again, I'm okay with these colors blend a little bit, but I would like to see some individual colors too. Go. and let's end with the sapphire. So I've got enough left over of that. If I need to do a second cup, I can. 
um, and I've got that gold left. So let's go ahead and start painting. So this is about a half an hour later. I'm noticing there's some 
little lumps in there. I, I guess I did not mix my pigments up well enough, but I think it's kind of a cool little texture that it adds to it. Hopefully I can, um, if I resin this, that will go away. And man, that gold really, that um, the ore that I used and put on last, it really spread out all over the place. You're really getting a view of my messy studio here too. <laughs> But I think this is really cool. I'm really happy with this. And I'm excited to see what this is going to look like when it's dry. Because underneath that, what looks like gold now, is uh, the two different colors of blue. So I'm really very intrigued to see what's gonna happen with this. Oh, and I did scrape off, after all the drips were done, um, I scraped up my table and I ended up with almost a full cup of um, the mix of the sapphire and the mermaid and the ore made a beautiful color. So I still have lots of paint left over. These cups are about 12 ounces. So I think there's probably, what, nine ounces of paint left in there. That's awesome. So uh, I hate to waste things. So I'm happy I'll, I'll be able to um, use all of these colors again. I should probably mix them up a little better though. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so now let's see what this looks like dry. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to do dry results. <laughs> this is the, um, uh, this little piggy um, vase that I did, and I'm super happy with it. This is a, a case of, uh, it didn't turn out the way I expected, but I like it even better than what it what, what I had planned. So um, the way that this, I'm trying to catch it in the light so you can see, everything is very reflective here, but I love the way this gold layered over top of the sapphire um, and the mermaid and all of those little, this would normally be a mistake, but all of those little air bubbles created these fascinating little lines all over the place so that the the blue comes through the gold in them and it's very uniform all the way across i love it and um i think it's quite beautiful i love that there's um lots of blue on the base also it's kind of darker blue that's more sapphire there and then the blue that's up top is more the mermaid um i really love this but hold on and let's see if my plan will actually work out. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the glow coming through and all those little spots where the air bubbles were makes it look like little stars coming through. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I did the, um, I, I wanted to use the, the transparent pigments because I wanted to turn this big vase into a candle holder. And I think that's beautiful. I'm excited about that. Maybe next time I'll do something a little bit smaller. <laughs> I went a little big on this one, but look at that, the way it glows through and you can see the blue and the gold. Didn't turn into green like I was afraid of. I think this turned out super cool. Let me know, let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more and go mix up some paints and be fearless.